everybody, it's Emma Langton here. It's uh, Monday 16th of January 2007. <gasps> Goodness me. Right, lots of information around today about today being Blue Monday. That's very happy, isn't it? Not. <laughs> lots of newspaper articles, lots of things popping up on my um, feeds on uh, with the news things, with um, internet, with um, Facebook and things like that. Um, about, oh, and apparently 2017 could just be the bluest blue Monday ever. Um, wow. If you're joining me live, just pop a note in to say hello that you're here so that I know that you're listening. Um, or if you're coming back and listening to me on the replay, leave me a little comment or thumbs up so that um, you know I know that you've been listening to it. And um, it also helps me know about the information that I'm giving you on videos if it's valuable and if it's of use to you. So... Um, I'm coming on today to just talk to you a little bit about Blue Monday. Um, I'm not really one for um, getting wallowing in uh, doom and gloom and um, worry and concern and things like that. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Blue Monday and what it is that you can do about it. Um, so um, it, yeah, a bit depressing really, isn't it? <laughs> Not really the best way to start your week. So apparently, Blue Monday is all because this is the time that, um, well, we credit card bills have come in. Um, we're realising how much we spent on Christmas. We're feeling a bit miserable about the miserable weather, the short days, the cold, the wet. It's a bit cold, wet, damp here today. Um, but do you know what, if I'm really honest, when you stop and look at the end of the day, I've got quite a good um, barometer in my day really because that's a kind of the four o'clock time is around the time when my daughter comes in from school. Um, and so I see really easily and really quickly just how um, the, the afternoons, the evenings are getting lighter. And that just gives me a little frisson really of kind of niceness and just go, oh look it's still nice oh that's very nice now if you follow me you'll notice that I talk about things to be grateful for and looking at um, uh, things that you're really positive about and kind of increasing that positivity and things um, and that's one of the very first things that you can do um, to help you get you through either just this blue Monday this week or, or the entire month of January really is to find things that um, small things in your day that you can be just nicely pleased about. It doesn't have to be a great big spankling, sparkling, super fantastic. Um, just find little things in your day that, that you're really thankful for that are really kind of good for you. Um, so I've um, I walked the dog this morning and um, even though it was miserable and wet and I put my coat on and my hat on and my hood up over my hat and made sure I was wrapped up nice and warm um, and still chatted to people, still smiled to people, still made that bit of effort. Um, the dog's very thankful, I think. He's now sleeping in the stairway. Um, but, you know, just making that tiny bit of effort to just smile at people, to say hello. You know, we need to interact with people. I know, I know, this is actually a time for when we just want to huddle up in front of the fire or... Um, curl up in the house um, and just kind of hunker down and it is a bit of a kind of hibernation period but if we can make those little bits of effort just smile at somebody that you see frequently you know in your in your office building on your way to work just smile at them just say hello um you know as as i do with other dog walkers that i see that's the very not quite the very first thing i do in the day but it's the first thing outside of the house um so that you can do that. We are social mammals and that kind of lifts our spirits and, and gives us a little bit of the feel-good chemicals to, to keep us going. So that's one of the very first things that you can do and it doesn't matter whether it's just for Blue Monday and all the newspaper doom and gloom or whether that's through entire month of January. Start by doing that. Um, but, you know, the next thing that you can do is to see where you can get a bit of exercise and before you groan at me, 
I'm not saying spend oodles of money on top of that credit card bill that you've just got in. Um, you know, joining a gym and things like that. I incorporate that into my dog walk. Um, well, he incorporates it for me because I took a ball for him and then he loses it and then I have to go and look for it. But, you know, <laughs> and then I just think, well, that's good. Find the positive out of that. He's getting me moving around a bit more. But realistically, for me, I go to a yoga class every Monday morning. You can see from my um, face with no makeup um, and my bright pink yoga t-shirt underneath this. I go to a yoga class every Monday morning um, and that's time for me. Um, and it sets me up for the week beautifully um, and it's great for the kind of giving myself time and for the stretching and for the exercise um, so and and you know when I the first class was a trial class and um, I don't know if it was even free or if it's you just pay a one-off and then if you decide to go ahead you're only paying in blocks of six there are loads and loads that if you want a class a class is great for me because I like it when somebody else tells me what to do um, not a lot of people have believed that but I do like it when somebody else is doing the decision making for me and I can just follow along quite nicely because sometimes you need to be taken out of that decision making so some like th these things like yoga classes I think there's kettlebells classes around that are in kind of church halls and other buildings and places like that pilates and um, all sorts of things like that there's loads of these classes popping up where they're just doing it on this field here or in this school playground there and I think they are much shorter term where you can just pay for six weeks and see how you get on. So that's much less commitment for you. Um, so um, those might be some things that you can think about. Oh, just walk. As I said, you know, I walked to the dog. All right, it's draining. It's draining. It's dreary. It's raining today. It's still a bit dark. I'm in my office with my lights on. But you know, just a good march around the block or up and down the streets, the post office or whatever else it is, you know, can be brilliant for you. Um, so just get in that little bit of exercise and that really lifts your feel good chemicals and helps you to feel so much better um, about things. So that might be something else that you might want to think about doing. Okay. Um, there are also lot, an awful lot of other things that you can do. However, because I'm talking to you, uh, the, the, what prompted me to come and talk to you today about the, the Blue Monday blues and things like that, um, is because the newspapers and, and it's kind of all over Facebook and Twitter and things like that as well. So, the, you know, the social media and the places that we look and that we get our information from are, are kind of covered in this, oh, this Blue Monday. And they're also kind of going, oh, it's really depressing. You know, there's been, oh, so many celebrity deaths last year. There's been, oh, there's the anxiety over Brexit. You know, there's, there's fears about Donald Trump and his presidency. Um, and then there's the your credit card bills coming in and then there's the gloominess and, and, of January and things like that. So there's lots of things that are, people are kind of raising up in our profile. Here's something that I talk to an awful lot of people about when I do a lot of kind of anxiety and stress management and things. Um, and even, you know, I used to talk to people about this for I don't know, it feels like ever. But back in my corporate days when people were going through transformations and people were, you know, there was changes in jobs, there was changes in structures and things like that. And I would say to people, you know, there's three things that you need to take into account about what it is that's going on, whether that's at home, at work, or really out there in the big wide world. Three things to think about. Can you change it? So think about, can you change this situation? Can we change that presidency? Can we change Brexit? Can we change the, 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 those celebrities? No, we can't. Can we change the weather? Can we make the days lighter and brighter? No, we can't. And that's not me being doom and gloom because I'm really not. Um, it's kind of real. It's factual it's just it's how it is there are some things that we really cannot change but you know what if there are some things like you could size of your credit card bill or i don't know what else um that are getting you down can you change it and if you're saying yes actually i can then think then about how you can change it 
and what can you do about it and it doesn't have to be a big fell swoop it doesn't have to be you know all singing all dancing it doesn't have to be super quick but can you change it and if you're saying yes brilliant right so then what are we going to do what can i do to change it okay and even that can give you a little bit of hope where you can kind of be thinking oh yeah actually right okay I might be able to do da, 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 da. right okay so if you get to a yes then you get me take it further and see about what you can change if you've got to a no can you change it no actually I can't okay can you influence it can you influence it so I influence my day I increase my feel-good chemicals yes I influence my day with the things that I do um, I can influence my credit card bill as well by um, taking it out of my purse and not spending for the rest of the month on it. Um, really stopping and thinking about things that I'm doing. You know, doing a bit of a stock take on, I don't know, I saw somebody recently, um, oh, they're not going to buy any more clothes for whatever length of time because they've got plenty. You know, so can you influence it? Can you influence the situation that might be going on with your workplace? You know, um, now with some people where they're having restructuring and things like that, um, then yeah maybe they can influence it maybe they can really brush up on their interviewing skills they can lower the stress levels they can um, I don't know rewrite your CV you can you know if you're fed up with your job you know write your CV start applying for jobs so then yeah actually you can influence it you can begin to do something about it do you need to set a one to one with your boss do you need to have a conversation with your boss do you need to have a conversation with your staff you know um, can you influence what it is that's going on that's that's causing you some of that doom and gloom that's causing you some of that worry so if you can then think about then what it is that you can influence and how can you put it into place and then do some of that stuff you know but you know what if you're on can i change it no can i influence it no so then what are you left with you have to accept it you have to accept it you know I've got a really, really moody teenager in my house at the moment. Really moody. Yes, the stress level's affected because she's making her choices for her GCSEs. You know, yes, she's struggling because really, we didn't bother sending her to bed that early all the time over Christmas, so she's shattered. And then she wants to stay up late and, and things like that because she's getting older and in between. You know, since so she's shattered. Um... And she's in that, that in-between stage of being, she's not quite a child, she's not quite an adult, some things she wants to do, but she's not really quite confident because she's still feeling a bit young. Da, da, da. Mm. So, it's moody. Can I change those moods? No, actually. I can't bring her out of that mood. Um, I can help her, I can support her, but, you know, it's teenagers. <laughs> It's teenagers and sometimes you have to just let them be in that mood so that then actually they can bring themselves out of it because that is going to be a better lifelong skill for her. You know, so sometimes I might have a chat with her and say, right, okay, something seems to be struggling. You, you seem to be struggling with things and now I might be able to influence something or to be able to help our sister. And then sometimes I just walk out the room, just walk out the room and accept it. She's in a mood. She's in a mood. It's a teenage phase. She's going to be in a mood. Okay? Um, there are other things that you might just have to accept. You know, um, I've just um, I've just been buying some things for my business. And when I was working everything out, um, there was one particular thing. Um, and then when you put the VAT on it, it just adds loads on. And I thought, oh, there's bloody VAT. These prices are right, but the bloody VAT. But can I change it? Can I influence it? No, I can't. So then I just go, yeah, right, okay, and then carry on doing my books and, do, you know, adding in the VAT, accounting for it, making sure, you know, it's all in there. Can't do anything about it. That's kind of on that level of, you know, the Brexit thing and, and, and the Trump thing. We can't do anything about those things. Um... And actually, with some of those things, you know, we just have to sit back and wait and see what's happening. 
you can also be quite a lot like this, you know, in, in big businesses that are doing kind of restructuring and transformations and, and, and whatever it is, things like that. You know, some of that's going to affect businesses or businesses are changing the way that they do things anyway. And sometimes you just have to ride that bit until you get to see what happens. And then some things will affect other people, but don't actually affect you. Um, and you kind of, I, you know, I really say to people, sometimes you have to get to that acceptance and then it winds you up less and then it bothers you less and then you get less stressed and you feel more comfortable <sighs> and then the whole thing is just that little bit easier and better there's plenty of things in your life even whoever it is that i'm talking to right now and whoever's going to be listening on this replay there's going to be plenty of things in your life and i don't even know you i don't know your life there's going to be plenty of things that you can change. There's going to be plenty of things that you can influence. So, can you change it? Can you influence it? Can you accept it? And if your answer is actually no, I can't accept it, then hi, Cartney. Thank you for saying you're listening. That's really lovely to know. It's quite interesting. Sometimes I just talk to myself and hope that somebody comes back and listens at another time. So thank you for that. That's lovely. And if anybody else does listen on the replay, um, then do come in and just let me know. Hi. Um, so it's really good to know if you know if you're listening to these sorts of things because actually if people are not listening to some of the topics then i'm going to change that you know and if some people are listening to some of these then that's a hopefully that's going to influence you know the way that they look at life and how it is that you do things you know so do give me some of that feedback that i keep asking for that's really helpful so you know um have a think about what you can change what you can influence and what you can accept and then if you go no no I'm, I'm really not going to accept this then you go back to right what can I do to change it and you go back through again okay but then the other couple of bits that I mentioned at the beginning just in case you missed it at the beginning it's blue Monday today it, you know there's lots of stuff in our news feed in our um on the internet on on Facebook on Twitter in the newspapers about how it's all doom and gloom um, so I wanted to give you a few tips about what you know what you can do about it The other two things that I talked about about the way to put in everyday life and sort of particularly on a Monday is Interact with people smile say hello have a chat Put a smile on your face. It really lifts our feel-good chemicals because we are social people and we need that interaction um, And even if you don't quite realize that that's what happens. That's really what happens and then the other thing is to see if you can do some exercise. And I mentioned that I go to yoga every Monday morning, which is really, really good sort of way to start my week. Um, but, you know, even if it's just a walk down the main street um, or uh, to the post office or something like that, if it's um, a walk with the dog, if it's, you know, a fast walk with the with the children to school, um, you know, that... The, then um, try and get in a little bit of exercise. There are some classes around that kind of do short term um, sign up things as well, or just kind of pay as you go so that you're not having to uh, invest in big gym fees. Okay, so hopefully that's been really, really helpful. As I said, come back, leave comments because I do want to know what's, what you, um, which ones you do listen to, which ones you do find helpful. Um, and I'll be popping on some more through the week. Um, and so uh, leave me your comments and then I'll see you again soon. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.